Hi, we're back in the kitchen and we're making a fig and olive bread with lavender and then we are going to make them into crackers. So we get the prep ready. We've got our flour. I have the chopped figs and sea salt. We're going to add some honey and yogurt. While the nuts are toasting, I'm going to add the honey to the yogurt and I'm adding a little bit of salt to my mixture here and I've got the lavender what we do is we crush it into the coffee grinder or a mortar and pestle but what you first start off with are the little lavender buds this is the type of lavender that's perfect for cooking with and then we crush them up to add to the mixture and I love fennel as well. That flavor of fennel and lavender goes really well, so I'm gonna add a little bit of fennel too. So since it's a leavened bread, we need a little bit of baking soda in our flour mixture. And we already added the salt to the yogurt. So I'm just kind of just lightly blending and we're going to add the yogurt to that mixture. Get all the goodness. So we're getting our pans ready and we can brush or spray them with cooking oil or cooking spray. And what I like to do is put a little piece of parchment paper just to, and then we're gonna fill up our pans about halfway when we cut these into crackers, they make the perfect size cracker. Ready to go in the oven. Try to get them thin, but about a quarter of an inch, not too thin. And then what we do is lay these out on a sheet pan. Put them back in the oven to crisp up. Halfway through, after about 10 minutes, we're going to flip them over onto the other side so they can get crisp around the edges and toasted all the way through. Probably another 10 minutes or so. I'd like to add that this recipe is available in my Ojai cookbook, the second A Taste of Ojai, along with a dozen other wonderful lavender infused recipes. Crackers are so good when they come straight out of the oven. Smear some cream cheese on it, enjoy it for breakfast. Let them cool and store them in an airtight container and they'll last a good week. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen. Try these and let me know what you think.